Recently, Microsoft announced Fabric, a unified data platform. So today, let's understand what is Fabric and how it helps you as a data person. In most organizations, we will have separate teams dealing with the data engineering side of things, data warehouse and data lake side of things, as well as data analysis and data science side of things. And normally, they will all be maintaining their own separate data platforms and data solutions. This is where Microsoft Fabric comes in. It tries to unify everything into one platform so that any duplication is reduced and the costs are minimized. So what is inside Microsoft Fabric? Microsoft Fabric offers separate solutions for each of these three main areas. So you have your data factory, which can help you with any data pipelines and data flows that you're setting up as part of the data engineering side of things. And then you have your data lake, data warehouse, and any other data storage stuff that you want to do. And finally, you also have your Power BI, and then your data science stuff and real-time analytics stuff. Underneath all of these solutions, Microsoft gives you a single storage layer called Microsoft One Lake. Obviously, not this kind of lake. One Lake helps you store everything your data lake stuff, your files, your databases, your tables, everything can be stored here in a unified format. Think of one lake like a big hard disk on your computer or the OneDrive folder where you store literally everything. Another aspect of having separate teams doing their own thing is sometimes governance and security privacy are overlooked. So Microsoft Fabric fixes this with a separate layer underneath called Purview. This helps you set global policies for your governance and security related stuff. One thing that I want to highlight is Fabric is not entirely new software. Many of its existing features such as Synapse data warehousing or data engineering or the data factory or even Power BI are existing stuff. But features like One Lake and One Security or Microsoft Purview are entirely new. What Fabric does is it kind of brings everything together into one umbrella so that when you are managing an entire organization's data infrastructure, you can use one tool or one platform rather than multiple different things. As a data person, I primarily tend to work in this side of the picture. So I'm curious to know what does Fabric mean to me? The biggest change in my eyes seems to be now I can access the data in the one lake directly. This means I get to remove some of the duplication in my work. For example, occasionally I end up building my own data flows and my own data engineering stuff because I can't really get what these people are doing. But now that everything is integrated through one lake, my data engineering team can put their stuff into the one lake and I can directly consume it through here without duplicating some of that work. Likewise, Fabric also gives me access to build any data science models, machine learning models, or do real-time analytics or SQL directly on top of my One Lake data sets. This means I don't need to build a separate environment, figure out the connections and all of that. I just need to access what is already available to me in One Lake to do that stuff. Let's understand how we can use Microsoft Fabric to create a simple data analysis project at Awesome Chocolates. As we receive chocolate orders on our website, we can create a data flow to capture that order and store that into our one lake in a separate table. We can set up the pipeline in such a way that new orders are appended into the table. So the website data goes into the warehouse or one lake into my order table. And from that order table, we can create a Power BI report that helps us understand the trend of the orders. Likewise, we can use the same order table to do some data science -y stuff and maybe build a machine learning model that helps us predict what the future for chocolates is looking like. We could also take the same data and do some real-time analytics and present such information to our manufacturing people so that they can be prepared and all of this can be streamlined into one system through Microsoft Fabric. I hope you enjoyed this explanation of Microsoft Fabric with bricks. Get it? 
If you enjoyed this, give it a like. If you like these style of explanations, check out the other videos that show up on the screen to understand the data engineering concepts or business intelligence concepts. I'll catch you in one of these places. Bye.